today we will discuss about the groove micrometer and we will discuss about these points what is groove micrometer what is its, its components name what is its use how we use it what is its examples and how we calculate its least count what, what is least count you will say here we will discuss about the parts here this this is the spindle as this will when we measure anything big or small groove this will move uh, out and in and this is called a spindle and the spindle attached a face and this face is called a spindle face or we can say this is a movable face as when we large groove or small groove uh, face is attached with this spindle and moves with the spindle so it is movable spindle or spindle face this face is called a fixed face as this, this face is fixed with the frame and this you will see here as you will see here this is the frame of the micrometer you will see here this is the main scale and its one division is of from here to here is 0.5 mm this body is called a sleeve body and on which you will see this printed scale on the sleeve body you will see this body is the uh, thimble body on which you will see this circular scale and this circular scale has 50 divisions as you see here as you see here 0 5 10 15 25 30 35 45 46 47 48 48 49 and 50 so in this way you see here in this thimble body this is the circular scale which have 50 divisions and this one division is of 0 0.01 mm and this is the least count of this micrometer this is the main scale having 0.5 mm its least count this is the circular scale having 0.01 mm its least count as its one division is of 0.01 and its half division is of 0.5 mm uh, this uh, component is the ratchet nut uniform pressure applied on this uh, ratchet nut so that on rotating this ratchet nut with the uniform pressure we can measure this any object so that uh, it will rotate and measures the object it, this is the use of ratchet nut with now you will see here as i drawn this main scale to discuss very well in this above the divisions are uh, drawn here and below divisions are uh, drawn here we'll see here the above scale on the main scale is uh, is used here for the uh, outer grooves we want to measure if we if you see here this is our workpiece and if we want to measure this outer outer groove thickness here as you see here if we want to measure here to here like this measure this from here to here then we use this sign and we we scale we have to prefer this this type of measurement like like this type of measurement we will prefer this above scale or uh, above this this line we will above this scale prefer and if we want this uh, this type of internal thickness of groove we want to measure then we will prefer this below scale internal grooves and you will get different values on the same the same reading for these two you will get different value now you will see if we want to measure this internal groove like this this is our workpiece and this is the internal groove uh, we want to measure with this micrometer like this as you see here as i this is the workpiece this is the groove and we measure with this you will see here as i uh, i will measure with this by putting this enter and we will measure from this outside to this and we will prefer this below for this type of measurement we will prefer this because of internal measurement internal measurement groove thickness we we prefer this below scale here below this main line we prefer according to this below scale below scale we will make we have to measure so you will see here that that this uh, main scale one division is of one mm and you will see this is the half of this one mm so from here to here it is of 0 0.5 mm and you will note here that in this main scale we can measure minimum value 0.5 mm now see the see here from 0 to you can see here there is 45 and here is 
46, 47, 48, 49, and 50, 50 divisions. As you see here, there are 50 divisions on this circular on this circular scale, and one division is of 0.01 mm. Now you see how we calculate the least count. The, you will see here the least count formula minimum value measure on this on the main scale upon total number of division on circular scale as as i discussed above discussed here that is the minimum value from here to here we can measure on the main scale so we write this minimum value here and total number of divisions on the circular scale you will see here you will see here the total number of divisions is 50 so we write here the total number of divisions 50 here so according to formula if we write this then after dividing this we get this least count 0.01 mm and you will see we get this uh, in this way we get the least count of this the least count means the minimum value we can measure by this micrometer as you see here that the there is some difference and as this 25 ends here and this 25 is ends here for the above this main line the 25 ends here for the out, outer groove measurement and for the internal groove measurement the 25 ends here if you will see the difference of 1.5 and uh, by it is because as as we rotate this ratchet nut and you will note here that closing and you will see it is closed and it is the you will see here it is completely closed as if you want to measure the uh, if you want to measure this internal thickness of a groove this should be the minimum its minimum value should be 1.5 mm if uh, it is less than its uh, this internal groove is less than 1.5 then it cannot be used to measure this internal groove width it has a limitation of 1.5 it can measure minimum to 1.5 and cannot measure the groove which is less than 1.5 as it has the minimum limit its thickness is 1.5 so it can only it can measures minimum 1.5 uh, um, less than 1.5 cannot be measured by this groove micrometer as its thickness is uh, 1.5 so this scale is for the outer groove measurement it, it's, it starts with the zero but for the internal groove measurement internal groove measurement is it it starts with the 1.5 1.5 value as you see here it, it starts with 1.5 value for the internal groove measurement for the for the internal groove measurement it will uh, it will starts from 1.5 as you see here it starts with the 1.5 you will see for the outer measurement it, it starts with the zero for the outer groove measurement in so that's why uh, here the scale is uh, different for the internal uh, groove measurement uh, it, it starts with 1.5 mm as 1.5 mm 1 1.5 mm and for the outer groove measurement it, it starts with the zero in this way when we measure uh, internal groove and outer groove we get the different values on the same reading at the reading and for for the outer groove thickness this value is different in this reading this value is different because we have to uh, uh, according to this above scale we have to measure this reading and for the internal uh, groove measurement we will uh, have to the in for the internal groove measurement we have to read this below um, we have to read this below uh, scale according to this below scale we read the value for the same readings for both uh, external and internal we get different readings let's see the example let's see the example of this groove micrometer how we read this value now you will see that uh, now you will see that this line is matching with this scale main scale line this uh, now you see this circular scale line is matching with this main scale line and you see 
that uh, read this this is 25 24 23 22 21 20 19 18 17 16 and after this if this line is showing 15.5 want to measure the outer thickness you can see here outer thickness then we have to calculate if you want to measure the outer thickness of a groove then you have to 22 21 20 19 18 17 16 and you will see here this line 15.5 and you will see this line is showing uh, and this line is seen here and the thimble point according to this this is 15.5 and this thimble is a back side and it is uh, noting that this this is uh, uh, greater this is greater than 15 and less than uh, less than 15.5 so we write this 15 here and we will add this 15 of main scale reading with the uh, this circular this circular scale reading as this line as you see as you see the circular circular scale 45 rating is this line is matching with the main scale reading so we write we uh, we write this 45 here and multiply with the least count of this one divisions least count and then you will get this value when we multiply these we get this then we add this 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 is the reading you will see here this is the reading and we calculate like this we calculate this reading like this as you seen here for the outer thickness groove now we want the this uh, now we want this reading here for the internal thickness of the groove now see how i read this reading this is changed for the uh, as this reading for the outer groove outer uh, groove thickness is changed here for the internal groove reading this same reading change for the internal groove reading now see how now see how that this is 25 24 23 22 21 20 19 18 17 and you will see this is less than 17 as this is showing and thimble is back and 17 is seen so it is less than 17 and you will see here it is not seen and this means it is 17 and greater than 17.5 you will see this 20 19 18 17 and less than 17 and greater than 16.5 you will see here line not showing here it is uh, hidden by this thimble it means that 20 19 18 17 and it is less than 17 and greater than 16.5 so we uh, so we read according to formula we have to uh, the main scale reading 16.5 as we know that it is less than 17 but greater than 16.5 so we read the main scale reading here 16.5 now you will see the which line is matching you will see here the 4.4.5 of the circular scale reading is matching the main scale line so we write this 45 here of a circular scale reading according to formula and the its one division is of 0 0.0 0 0.01 mm so it is least count so we multiply with this according to form according to formula main scale reading we write here least count is this and the circular scale reading is this and in this way we have write uh, this here and by multiplying these we get this and after adding this we get this see this same reading is for the internal for the uh, measurement of internal groove thickness this same reading this same reading is in here for the internal groove is 16.95 and for the outer thickness of the groove this same reading is 15.45 way for reading the outer thickness of the groove we will read this upper scale and for the uh, internal for the internal thickness of the groove we we have to read this blue scale these are some example of external groove thickness measuring by the groove micrometer as you can see we are measuring the external thickness of the groove as this is the method and this is the example as we are showing to you now you see this is the closed 1.5 thickness and the groove we are opening the groove micrometer and this is opening by the rotating this and you will see now I closed it and this is the example for the uh, 
ग्रूव ग्रूव मेजरिंग इंटरनल ग्रूव थिकनेस मेजरमेंट एंड दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल एज यू आर सींग हेयर दैट दिस इज द इंटरनल ग्रूव मेजरमेंट थिकनेस